Here is a real life situation and we will try to analyze this situation and relate linear relation with rate of change. So as you are doing with all the examples, study the graph, write down your story and answer the questions. Correct? So let's go through it once before you start answering your questions. So as you see, the graph here shows time along the horizontal axis in seconds and altitude or height in meters on the y-axis. Now there is a straight line which starts from a position of 25 meters and it's like slanting upwards. That means the altitude is increasing with time. Right? So once you analyze this graph then interpret the given situation and we have given you a hint here like what is really happening here. A helium balloon is released from top of a building. So that is what is happening here. A helium balloon is released from top of a building and thereafter we are tracking the height or the altitude of this balloon with time. So this is what is happening here. So you can write down your story and then answer the questions. The very first one is define variables. The set of questions are exactly the same as we are doing for all these examples. So it's the same questions again and again to give you a good practice. So define variables. Don't forget to write units. What is rate of change? ROC, rate of change for us. What does rate of change mean in this particular situation? That is what you need to mention. What is initial value, the starting value? The value at time equals to zero. What does initial value mean? What does it signify? what is its importance. This is what you should write. What would the altitude be after 10 seconds? So we have shown this graph only for first 5 seconds and we are assuming that it continues like this. In that case, what would the altitude be after 10 seconds? So I made this correction. Units were minutes wrong. Typed wrongly earlier. So change it to seconds. What is the equation of the line? So normally you write line equation as y equals to mx plus b. But I'll appreciate if you write this equation of line in terms of the defined variables. Okay. That is kind of important, right? You can define independent variable and dependent variable as x and y also. Or you can use other terms. For example, you can use time t for independent and height h for dependent right answer your questions stop the video till you answer all the questions and then look into my suggestions now this is the process which you need to follow in all these examples since this is a practice test for you take it seriously try to understand the concept and then move on okay here are my suggestions so as I told you, the very first step is to look at the graph very closely because that gives you a kind of story in mind and helps you answer all these questions. So have a good look at the graph. So let me explain you this graph here. So this is a graph where we are trying to show altitude with respect to time. Time is in seconds shown in horizontal axis. And altitude is the dependent variable which is shown on the vertical axis. Altitude is given in units of meters. So starting with time zero, it seems that, so let's go back to our story. It seems that the balloon is released from the height of 25. And since it is released, it steadily rises up. So this is what we see in our graph right now let's get back to the hint given to us it says interpret the given situation a helium balloon is released from top of a building right so that is kind of a hint which helps you which could be written here on top of this graph itself it's kind of heading for the graph right so so the story could be that a helium balloon is released from the top of the building 
and it rises with time its altitude is tracked uniformly with time and the graph shows the altitude of the helium balloon with time altitude in meters and time in seconds now part a is defined variables so variables are independent variable time you can say t in seconds so we can write variable t in seconds and altitude we can write this height h in meters right so normally altitude is height right so we'll put height rate of change to calculate rate of change it is good to get two good points and in this case first point is a very good point and the second could be here okay or well these are these all these points are good points right so bigger the triangle more accurate results you get that is one thing very important to understand right so let's make this triangle here and see what is rise and what is run now in this triangle we can see the units are 5 each right so 5 10 15 20 25 so we have a rise of 25 correct and the run is this is like 1 1 2 3 4 5 so at times it is easy to count if not then you can always find the coordinates of these two points and then find difference right so the difference will be 50 is the rise from 25 do you see so we can always write rate of change equals to final value is 50 the coordinates of this points are 5 and 50 right and the coordinates of this point are the initial point 0 and 25 so we can see rate of change is difference in y values divided by difference in x values correct so we have 50 minus 25 divided by 5 minus 0 5 minus 0 which is 25 over 5 so it gives us 5 and the units are for height the units are meters and for time it is second so the rate of change here is 5 meters per second so that is how we can calculate and this is positive since the line is going right up if the line is right down it will be negative so it's rising going up this height is increasing altitude is increasing therefore rate of change is positive so what does this rate of change mean here rate of change means the speed with which the height of balloon is increasing with time right that is what it means so rate of change is 5 meters per second that means the height of the balloon is increasing by 5 meters every second that is what it means so this is what you need to write for what does rate of change mean here what is the initial value so initial value as we have said at 0 it is 25 meters so initial value is 25 meters what does initial value means initial value means the time when this balloon was released in this case you can also say it means height of the building see when we say a helium balloon is released from top of a building then it also means top of the building so it means height of the building also at times I've seen question what is the height of the building so the height of the building is 25 meters right so we will write here height of the building so I'm writing short forms just to give you a hint right so the initial value means height of the building right what would the altitude be after 10 seconds so we have purposely terminated the graph. what would the altitude be after 10 seconds so this is I found sometimes a difficult question for students to answer let's understand it now we see that height is increasing at the rate of 5 meters every second so say what would be the altitude after 10 seconds 
So if it is increasing at the rate of 5 meters every second, in 10 seconds height should be more by 50 meters. Do you understand? 50 meters. 5 times 10, right? So you get plus 50. Plus 50 from where? The starting point. So the starting point is 25. So we say starting point plus 50, which gives us 75 meters. So the altitude after 10 seconds will be 75 meters. This is one way of answering the question and probably the most efficient way of answering the question. What would the altitude be after 10 seconds? Find the change in 10 seconds. Correct? Rate of change gives every second. So rate of change is 5 meters every second. So in 10 seconds it will be 10 times 5. 50 meters. Change from where? Change from the starting point. Starting point is 25. So add 50 to 25. Get your answer. So the answer is 75 meters. I hope now you will always get it. Now part G is what is the equation of the line? Now generally you write equation of line as y equals to mx plus b. Let me write here y equals to mx plus b. But I want to encourage you to write equation of the line in terms of defined variables. That is very important, right? We know this is x-axis and that is y-axis and by default y is dependent on x and we write this equation. But once you define your variables then it is good always and sometimes it's actually correct if you write in your defined variables. Here we define variables as time independent and height dependent variable. So dependent variable is height h. So we'll write h equals to. So h is equals to what? What is the rate of change? So we'll write rate of change is 5 meters per second plus 5. We'll just write 5 meters per second. And what is height dependent on? Height is dependent on time in seconds. We said time. Plus what was the initial value? Initial value is 25. So 25. So that gives us the equation of the line which represents the given situation. Correct? Now, if you get stuck in finding altitude after 10 seconds, you can actually do it after writing the equation line. Plug in 10 here and then calculate the answer. 5 times 10 is 50. 50 plus 25 is 75. So this equation actually gives you height at any time. If you put t as 0, what do you get? 25. Do you see that? If you put t as 2, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 25 is 35. So you can check at 2, 35. So this equation represents a graph and therefore at any instance of time you can find the height. So that is how this equation can be used. At times, I have a, I'll add this question here and that is Find the time when the balloon will be 100 meter high. When height is 100 meters. Find the time when the balloon's height will be 100 meters from the ground. So in that case, you can put 100 meters for h, take away 25, divide by 5, get the time. So you can do back calculations of finding time if the height is given to you, right? So practice this. I hope you understand and appreciate how we are relating linear relations and rate of change. It makes a lot more sense now. Thank you and all the best.